Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to get another one out for you. I'm going to be using the newest mold from Happy Dotting Company. I was lucky enough to get this sent to me so I could try it out and I am so extremely excited to paint on every single shape that she has created. Uh, this one is the first one I'm going to try. Uh, so this one is about, it's just over four inches uh, and just over five inches. So it's a nice size. Like you can do, uh, I could personally do like a small pet portrait on one of these. So there's a lot you can do with this shape. It almost is very similar to Santorini stone. So if you like that kind of look, these are perfect for you. Definitely visit the Happy Dotting Company on Etsy and Amazon and use my discount code Rachel's Rocks Canada and you will not be disappointed. They have lots of great stuff. Um, so I've painted it white, two coats of white, and I let it dry just to have a nice bright white uh, base coat to start with. And I'm using some dark indigo blue and sponges. So I'm using sponges, use a different sponge for each color. I'm now using some perfect purple. Uh, and unless you guys uh, didn't see the thumbnail, today, we are doing some celebratory fireworks because <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but this year has been, yeah, it's been, and <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> um, it's been delightful. Uh, um, and yeah, it's been rough. And for a lot of people, it's been stressful. It's been uh, you've had to be very flexible and, and change everything about your life and um, your kids have had to change everything that they're used to and it's your family and your things just aren't the same. Um, this all happened prior to my birthday in March uh, here in Ontario. So my kids were done school March 13th and the schools were closed and my birthday was the 29th. And I didn't get to celebrate it, and I haven't celebrated anything since then, not even moving into my home, um, our first home. So it's been, you know, it's been a strange year. But we are now at the end of it, and hopefully a light at the end of the tunnel. And we are about to celebrate. So I'm using a little bit of aqua. I'm using a little bit of magenta. You can use whatever colors you want for your fireworks. I am choosing colors that I like. So there's going to be purple. There's going to be an aqua, like almost like a teal color. And of course, magenta. I love that color too. I'm going to be using a couple of different types of glitter, which you guys like, uh, apparently. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying you, you like it because you keep coming back. <laughs> I love glitter and there's never enough of it. Never too much, never enough. So what I've done is I've added some magenta and then I go inside it with some white. So I'm just kind of sponging it out and I want to make the center. You're going to see these change a little bit as we go along. Um, I want to make the center of these blotches of color. <laughs> I want them to be lighter in the center. So that's basically what I'm working at. This is a Martha Stewart sponge dauber. It's a plastic handle with a little sponge on the end of it. If they fall off because you use them so much, glue them back on when they're dry. I use, I use mine for years. <laughs> no joke. I've been using mine for years. So don't throw them out if the spongy thing comes off. Just glue them on. I'm telling you, crazy glue. Just do it carefully. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just trying to make the center. I had a little hair in there, so I had to wipe it out. Um, just trying to make the center of each color lighter. And I just kind of keep working at that until they just kind of all blend together. Don't use the same sponge for all the colors. Use a different sponge for each color. Do not... Don't use your blue sponge to put white in the center of your purple one. You know, like don't, oh, of course, my notifications are on. I apologize. It wouldn't be Rachel's Rocks tutorials if there wasn't some kind of, some kind of silliness going on. Um, because I'm never prepared. <laughs> if I get the chance to do this, I take the chance and I don't always think about my notifications being turned off. So today was like, this was supposed to be up two days ago because that's when it was done. Uh, and life, life happened. So you guys are getting it later than I wanted you to, but hopefully you still get a chance to paint some fireworks with me before 
The clock strikes 12.01. 2021. Apparently, I guess we can now say we have had 2020 vision. <laughs> At the end of this year, we can finally say that we have had 2020 vision. I do not. I wear glasses. I only wear them. Well, I'm supposed to wear them all the time, I think. <laughs> but I don't. I, I don't feel like I'm that blind. I just wear them when I'm painting and when I'm watching TV. So, yeah. So I am darkening the bottom of this. You're going to see some more indigo blue there. I am still going back in and working on those colorful areas, but I want to get like the rest of the outside done because we're going to be glittering the outside and I want that to be dry before I add some glitter to it. So I'm coming down to the black. The whole back is going to be black. The sides are going to be kind of black. I'm just kind of blending in the black to the blue so it looks like a, a dark sky. Um, and then these are going to be, of course, fireworks. So I have got, done like a slight purple tinge with the perfect purple around around most of that, the top two colors, the, uh, the uh, sorry, magenta, I almost called it burgundy, uh, magenta and aqua. So you can see that there is a bit of purple around in there. And I'm going back to my magenta area and I'm re, re dabbing in there with a fresh, uh, I'm starting fresh because it just wasn't as bright and colorful as I wanted it to be. So uh, I'm adding a little bit more color to each, each area. Just keep blending until you like the way it looks. You don't have to use these colors. You can do like red, white, and blue. You can do uh, like red, yellow, green. You can do all different colors. You can just do white. Um, it's totally up to you. It, it's something that you can be creative with and you don't have to add glitter and stuff like that if you don't want to. You can also do the sky lighter at the bottom and do like hills or mountains or or like a, a shoreline or, or water. You can do water underneath the fireworks. Um, there's You could do silhouettes of people standing there watching the fireworks. I uh, just have to lighten up the lower portion of the stone a bit so that you can draw in some silhouettes. So it's totally up to you what you guys do with it. I'm just kind of giving you an idea. Um, I've my, I've wanted to paint fireworks so many times and I thought that I would give it a try right now and I'm not even going to dot it. I, I'm I'm going to do something dotted very soon. So if you're waiting for more dotted tutorials, um, they're definitely on the way. So be patient, my little friends, be patient. So I am still working on these little colors, making sure it's blended in. You don't want to see those little sponge marks. Um, so you want to blend it in really good. Sometimes it helps to wet down your sponge a little bit, not so that it's dripping, just barely wet, but it does kind of help the blend, the, to blend the paint, um, a little bit longer, keeps the paint a little bit wetter, and then you can move it around and sponge it in and smooth it out and make it look like airbrushing by the time you're done. Um, so just play with it for a bit. You just need to lighten the centers of whatever color you've chosen to use. Uh, just lighten the center and keep the outsides colorful because that's where the firework color is coming from. And then we're going to do uh, just some simple. This is like a super simple rock. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that people of all ages can do this with me. Um, because sometimes I make them that are a little complicated and people have mentioned, you know, fun to watch. It's beautiful, but I'm going to leave this one until I've had a little more practice. Um, so, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to leave anybody out with my tutorials and want to make sure that I have, uh, a variety of things from, from easy to not so easy, <laughs> but still fun, still fun. And even if it looks difficult, it might not be as difficult as you think. So definitely give it a try. Save it for later. Save the video for later. Go back to it if, when you're feeling confident. Um, you want to put your new blending skills to use or what have you. Um, definitely come back because you'd be surprised what you're capable of creating if you just give it a little bit of time. 
So you guys have seen these chrome powders before. Um, I am putting some pink chrome powder just with a, a makeup sponge. This is blue. Um, and then I'm going to put a little bit of purple. So I put a little bit of pink on the pink, a little bit of uh, blue on the blue, and a little bit of purple on the purple. And that is just going to make our fireworks sparkle a little. It's just giving it a nice look. Some of this glitter is going to travel around the rock a little bit where I, where it's, you know, and I really don't mind. I'm putting a little bit of purple on where that perfect purple is above them as well. Bringing some down lower. That's going to be amazing once it's covered in resin or whatever seal that you've decided to use. So now that's a small sparkle that's very, very fine, fine, fine glitter. And then hologram is a bigger glitter. But it's not like chunky. I wouldn't c consider it chunky glitter. Um, I would just say big boned. So it's it's big boned glitter. <laughs> That's what I used to call myself. I'm, I'm big boned. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to be using an even bigger glitter. And the bigger, the more beautiful, I'm saying. Um, so we're going to be using bigger glitter as well. So three different kinds of glitter. I'm not trying to overwhelm you guys, but glitter is fun and it makes fireworks look really, really pretty. <laughs> so I'm using a sponge, uh, once again, to add my hologram 2796. I just want to make sure that there's an even layer of it. I don't want it to be all like blotchy glitter, uh, patches kind of everywhere because when you use a paintbrush you can tend to leave patches so I used a sponge and I just went around the outside um, of the fireworks and now I'm using a sponge to add Mod Podge on top of these firework areas to hold that really fine glitter in place on the firework area so if I just left it alone, I would resin it and then all that glitter would kind of travel and run to the outside of the rock and roll down the sides. Um, but if I cover it in Mod Podge, it will dry like glue and it will dry clear and it will hold that glitter in place for me so that it's still sparkly when we're all done. So I'm going to let that dry and we're going to add some. Well, we're going to make it look like fireworks now. <laughs> right now it just looks like strange blobs of color. Um, but we're going to make it resemble fireworks. And I, I'm telling you, the good news is that when I went to take a picture of this stone when it was done, my phone recognized it as fireworks. <laughs> so that's a good sign. That's a good sign. So now I put big blobs of white in the center of each color. And I'm actually going to do two in this pink area because it's bigger. So uh, I'm going to do an extra dot and we're gonna have like two magenta fireworks coming out in this area, and then the, the aqua and the purple. So here I'm just adding another dot. If you have a bigger one, you can add one or two in there. That's up to you. And don't forget, you can change up your colors. So once you see this finished product and you see how I've done it, you can choose the color of your sky, you can choose the color of your fireworks, you can choose if you wanna over glitter it like I do. Um, it's totally up to you. And you can do this on any size rock, any shaped rock, really. You can just be creative with the, the shape of rock that you have. Um, and yeah, there's no, no like curing lights and, and UV gels and foils and stuff like that. We don't, we're not using anything like that on this one. I wanted it to be fairly simple. And you don't even have to use the hologram 2796 for your um, starry night. You don't have to have that as well. You can just leave it, do whatever you want. So I'm using a dotting tool to add some, I guess you can call them like sparks coming off the fireworks. Um, and I'm just gonna put a couple of little dots all around these fireworks. Uh, and then while the, the little white hairs and stuff that I put inside the fireworks, I'm just gonna call them hairs, don't mind me. No technical terms here. Um, I'm going to make sure that I add some angel flakes, which you guys saw me put on my angel wings in the angel winter angel video. Um, angel flakes from the pink chair.ca. You guys use my discount code. 
Um, I'm sprinkling it on the wet white paint so that it's that kind of holds it there. Once it's dry, that glitter is going to be there. So I'm going to let that dry and we're going to resin it very, very soon. I'm going to put my signature on the bottom right corner and uh, you guys are going to see this thing glittering like crazy very, very soon. Um, now, uh, don't forget to use my discount code at thepinkchair.ca and don't forget to use my discount code at on Etsy at Happy Dotting Company and you can use that discount code as Rachel's Rocks Canada. The pink chair is Rachel Mitchell. You get discount codes for both those places. So we're going to see it resin very soon. I can't wait. So I love this part. This is my favorite part. It makes me happy. I'm going to keep it out of focus a little bit so that you guys can see all the different flavors of glitter that we put on at this time. Each one gives it its own special, unique look. So the really fine litter, litter. Uh, it's been a long day. The fine glitter, the big bone glitter, the angel wing or angel flakes. It, it looks like sparks coming off of the fireworks. It's just amazing. I, I just love it. This was so much fun. Um, I hope you guys are able to create a bunch of fireworks in your lives over the next few days. Um, just make yourselves happy with whatever colors you choose to use. I love you guys. You guys have been here for me this year. Uh, like like no other. You have stood by me and, and supported me, and I just want to thank you all. I'm excited to paint with you in 2021. It's going to be a fantastic year ahead of us, and I just I love you all. Keep painting and stay safe. Bye, guys.